Coach Larry Wade. What's up? Good to see you again. How, How you doing? I'm good. Nice to be looking sharp as usual. It. As always. All right, camera view for your voice of the fans. I got Mr. Larry Wade here. What's going Co on? Coach of the champs. Mm -hmm. This fight, is this uh, the animosity that, well, the incident that happened at the press conference in Beverly Hills? Does that, how much does that uh, add more motivation to this fight for you? Well, you know what? I'm a professional at what I do. Okay. And so my expectation is always the best at all times. Okay. So there was nothing that Canelo or his team could have done to make me any more motivated than I already am. Gotcha. This is the way I live my life every day, okay. whether it's an undisputed world title or for a regular world title or just one fight that we have to win next. So he didn't he didn't encourage me or make me even more motivated. I'm already focused. Okay. <laughs> I'm already okay. ultra okay. excited okay. about the situation just because of who it is being Caleb Plant and I've journey together. Okay. So it didn't really encourage me or motivate me anymore, but you can guarantee I was focused. Yeah, you saw it. You caught it, you caught it all. Yeah. So in, in, in preparation for this fight, obviously you have to build a game plan. And I don't, I'm not asking you for your, exactly for your game plan, but Canelo typically has given rounds away early. Do you, are you guys planning to take advantage of those early rounds in the fight? I mean, if he gives them away, we're going to take them. That's like me giving you money. You give me money, I'm going to take the money, right? Right. Yeah. So, I mean, if he thinks that's the direction to go for what he wants to do, that's his direction. You can guarantee that if he's going to give it to us, we're going to take it. Okay. And we're going to take the ones he don't want to give us. Okay. So, there you go. There's a lot of work he got to do. So you talked about uh, Caleb having that dog, having that grit, having that tenacity. Right. I mean, coming from a place where he didn't have anybody to look up to, he's kind of laying that tr laying that uh, path, being a trailblazer himself. How do you keep this guy kind of calm and motivated from peaking at on Saturday at fight time versus maybe uh, the weigh-in or the press conference? How do you got? How do you manage that that uh, well, well, that trajectory? For anyone as a trainer, you got to know who you're talking to and you got to know what you're dealing with. Caleb and I, we have a lot of respect for each other, and the one thing that we have in common, Caleb and I both came from country rural situations where we didn't have much. I had like maybe 3,000 people in the town that I grew up in, mm. one high school, mm. 300 people in that high school. So we, we're used to not having resources. We're used to not having, you know, that, that, that role model for us to show us the path that we need to go next. So we're, we're both pioneers in that space. Okay. So in understanding that, I also understand the drive to want to be great. Yeah. And if you understand that drive, then it becomes a matter of allowing him to be himself, but, you know, only putting the, the things in place that should be attained at that moment. Gotcha. There's some things that need to be done in week two. There's some things to be done in week four. There's things to be done in week six. Okay. We focus on those small steps. Okay. Once you focus on those small steps, then before you know it, we're here. We're right, we're right? right here. So that that's makes how you sense. do it. That makes Just, sense. Don't try to change him. Don't try to take it away. Just give him the, the goal in front. This is what we're doing this week. Okay. He crushes it. This is what we're doing next week. He crushes it. Okay. And that's how we get here. Okay. And then last, last one for me, unless you say something interesting. When you're training them and you got them on a the track and then he's hopping the hurdles and under the hurdles, hopping up under, is this helping with uh, flexibility? Is this helping with speed? What, what is it? What well, exactly? it depends on exactly what you're speaking of. If you're talking about the hurdles themselves, it helps with hip mobility. Okay. And that's really important for boxers, especially if you have limited lateral movement. It actually helps you move better. Okay. But it okay. just really depends. If you see it on the track, then it's usually working on one or three different, different things. I'm working either on the aerobic system or the anaerobic lactic system or the ATP system. And if you understand that, then there's a timing and a place for all of it. But I'm usually working at something specifically in regards to the sport of boxing that's gonna help them for that night. And there's a timing for them all. Okay, okay. Can you increase, can you increase a man's power? Absolutely. Is it weight? Is it resistance bands? Is it well, how, how? well, at the end of the day, it's a combination of things, but you gotta understand at the end of the day, no matter how strong the guy gets, it's force, that's your ability to lift weights, whatever, time, speed. Mm. How fast you develop it. Gotcha. That's how you get gotcha. power. Gotcha. So okay. Okay. it doesn't matter if a guy can bench press 500 pounds if he doesn't know how to ex execute it from the ground up. Yeah, gotcha. He's the same amount of power he had before. Gotcha. But gotcha. if he learns how to execute, execute it and push it from the ground up, it allows him to deliver more power. The nuggets from Mr. Larry Wade. Let the people know where they can find you on social hey, listen, media. Coach Larry Wade. I build champions. Please go follow me at Coach Larry Wade on Instagram, Coach Larry Wade on Facebook, Coach Larry Wade on Twitter, and anything else to have Coach Larry Wade on it. All right? Thank you, Go guys. follow Coach of the Champions. Thank Thanks. you. I appreciate it.